Okay. Um, so this is another topic that I need to go over. Um, and I, I, I didn't really, um, I'm not sure what the you, you, you triple or you trap tell you, um, what, so it's this word and I know you can't read my handwriting. I don't know if it refers to the joking or dressing, but, um, I wanted to do this, uh, in response to how we in our society, um, do pranks and all this other stuff, which are very vile and very wrong. Um, you are not to, um, prank someone that is, uh, a really repulsive thing. Um, and every time I see it, I, I cringe because of how bad it is. Um, but in our society right now, we think it's perfectly fine to joke and jest and to do whatever the heck we want. Um, and so I have found some verses um, that are against this. Um, so Ephesians 5, 4, uh, neither filthiness nor foolish talk uh, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving uh, thanksgiving. Uh, and it basically goes on to say no inheritance in the um so with these uh with joking jesting and other things you will have no inheritance in the kingdom of god um it says neither filthiness nor foolish talk so um this all i mean also this could include gossiping gossiping is basically talking bad or about someone behind their back um gossiping is when you are um, talking about someone in a negative way behind their back. Um, God specifically talks about um, gossiping. Um, but we are not to talk foolishly or whatever. We're not to get involved in talking that is um, against what God says. Um, and I used to think that com there are certain comedians out there. And when you think about it, comedians are comedians because they make fun of different groups and different people. And God has let me know that that's not right. It's like we're not supposed to make fun of anyone or anything for any reason. Um, in heaven, you will not see this. You you do not joke or jest. You you talk. Um, God wants us to talk um, in a way that is pleasing to Him. He wants us to get along with everyone. He doesn't want us like it's like hey, you're just a big blah blah blah. Like oh well, you're just a big turd, and oh well, you shouldn't do this or that and. Uh, it's like uh, it's like why aren't you blah, blah, blah i mean that's that's the type of thing that god doesn't want um proverbs twenty six twenty eight: a lying tongue hateth those that are uh afflicted by it and a flattering mouth uh worketh ruin so if you flatter um it it basically um you're working ruin um and it's um it's just not something that you you need to be doing um and uh there are words like it says that there are seven abominations and one is a lying tongue um so god doesn't want us to lie and that goes on uh goes in with this um so matthew twelve thirty six. Uh, but i say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak this also includes women um, they shall give account um, thereof in the day of judgment for by their words thou shalt be justified and by their words thou shalt be condemned so whatever you said say say uh whatever you have done um it is all accounted for there are uh, uh bleh, sorry there are angels right now that record everything you do you eat or not um everything you do and everything um how you live and um and every every action that you've done they, they have a whole record of everything you've ever done, everything you've thought, everything. And it says that uh, also in the Bible, it says that if you have thought it, you have done it. And it says if you've done done one, you've done them all. And that's referring to sin in the commandments. Um, so, um, so yes, uh, we are not to have any idle word. Like if you curse people under your breath, um, you're not, you, you need to repent of that. If you said, oh, well, I hate you, or, um, and also there's verses on, um, it's like, um, if you say, oh, um, it, it is in response to, like, your brother, like, if you go against your brother and say, um, like, I'm angry at you, or, um, it basically, you have to repent of any negative thoughts that you have of anyone. God doesn't want negative thoughts. He wants your, your stuff to be uplifting. He wants, um you to uh, control your body in your mouth 
and it even says in the word um, that our tongue is like a viper um, and it lashes out I mean and um, I mean there's references in the Bible where it says well it's like I, I want to do um, why is it the things I don't want to do I do and the things that I want to do I don't do and this goes along with what what we say I mean sometimes we get in um, a mood or um, we get angry and the world kind of um, goes after us and it makes us say things and do things that are not um, of our character like I mean for me it's like I've been attacked on all sides and so I've been like lashing out at everyone and everything because it's just it's a lot to bear and I've had to majorly repent and backtrack and go oh I'm sorry I I, I don't know what's what's going on uh, but we are being attacked like never before. And so words are flying out of people's mouths. Um, and it's going to get more wicked and more more sinful. I mean, we are living in the tribulation. It's about to get really bad. Um, <clears throat> so, um, but our words need to be uplifting. They need to be um, words of affirmation and uh, give glory to God. Um, if you're beating someone down and criticizing them and making fun of them, that's not helping them. And you're actually hurting hurting their soul. You're actually making them feel bad for, for how they're living and whatever. It's like we need to have uplifting words. We need to help each other out and to support them, not to break them down and beat them, uh, beat them over their head or beat them over their head with your words. Ephesians 4, 29 let no corrupt uh, com uh, communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good um, to, um, to the use of edifying, that it may, uh, may minister grace unto the hearers. So that's what I mean. Um, so, um, but yes, yeah, so we need to edify, we need to build up, not tear down. Um, there's all of our society pretty much is tearing down everyone now. Um, we have so many things that's. And our society has made it okay to like rip apart everyone. Uh, we have comedians that rip apart everyone everywhere um, and make fun of everyone uh, for various things, for disabilities, for um, all kinds of reasons. And it's, it's not right. We need to not do this. And we need to actually speak up for those that are getting criticized. It's like, hey, that's not, you, you don't need to be saying that. That's not cool. Um, um, and so we need to protect them. So Matthew five thirty seven. But let your uh, communication be yes, yes, nay, nay. For what whatsoever is more um, than these cometh of evil. Um, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> so what it means by that is let your yes be yes and no be no. Um, and if it's anything more than that, it's uh, it's coming out out of the devil and out of a not so nice place. Um, so you need to make sure that your words, um, <clears throat> we can't be like wishy-washy with our words. Um, and, um, i I mean, our society pushes, oh, well, uh, you can lie and have, have, have white lies and, uh, little white lies and that type of thing. It's no, you need to say yes or no. You do not need to, um, do anything other than that, um, if someone asks you um, a, a question, you need to ask them or answer them truthfully. So, uh, and I have found myself, and I'm very, yeah, I I have tried not not to do, and I don't know why, but I have caught myself lately uh, lying just to get out of something because I didn't want to have the consequences. Uh, so, um, so yeah, so. But that's on joking and jesting, and I've tried to put in some other things as well. But these are a few verses, um, but there's others that go into other things that I've said about, like lying and gossiping. There are other verses. Um, but God wants us to have pure and holy words and not uh, words that um, go the opposite way. Um, so thank you for joining me. Um, this is another uh, video, and I'm going to go to bed now. Have a good night and God bless you all.